Hello, this is a weird intro with the smiley faces sticking their tongues out like they're Gene Simmons. Hello, people of the internet future, my Phoenician family of 189 subscribers. Thanks for clicking on my video and showing up to the party. Today, it's my Ipsy Glam bag. What bag did I get? I'm going to build a little bit of suspense and I'm going to hold my card for dear life as if it depended on me. Uh, the theme, as you know, is Ipsy keep growing. I think they mean gardening, not so much growing physically as we're all adults, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Uh, keep growing, not so much uh, with the mold and the toenail fungus and rashes, VD. Don't let those things grow. So we're in four. Also, I wanted to show that I did get a one of the cards with that shows the items. One of the shade of my lippies was wrong, but... That, that's to be expected. There were two shades uh, shown. So before I get into my five items and I had two add-ons, I want to show you um, all, the, all the products that were offered in Glam Bag. So there is the cherished, coveted Glam Bag itself, the daisies, and the zipper pool. And then there's that one mascara from Bobby Brown. And a bunch of boing Concealers, the PYT, Beauty for Real, Girls School, that one Mark Anthony for curly hair leave-in conditioner, the Polar hand cream, couple of Koki, brow thingies, that pimple patch, that looks pretty cool, Elizabeth Mott, something or other, Aceology, oh, a Whey body cream, I hope I get that later, <clears throat> that one Farrah brush that was not in choice, yeah, that's all it was. So there was that. And so I'm going to move on to my five items. What did I choose? Foxy Hair Bay. This is my choice product. It's a three-minute leave-in. Um, if you've watched my last few videos, you may have noticed that there was something going on with my hair. <laughs> my hair was like, there is something going on. Uh, it was because I was at a hair mask. So I was waiting for this bag very much. Today's the 28th of April, and it's late, this whole thing. Um, today's the 28th of April, and I received my glam bag on the 26th. Uh, my billing process late. So I was waiting for this uh, mask. It's a three-minute, it's Foxy Bay. Um, I'm holding it, I enjoy Foxy Bay, but I think you'll agree it's not like the best hair mask out there. But it does in a pinch. I had it last summer, not this three-minute one, but another Foxy Bay, like a permanently leave-in, like, you know, let it dry. And uh, I really enjoyed it I, last summer, so I'm like, oh, summer's coming again. I'm going to have, like, some of the same, <coughs> like, brands, right? So what I like about this three, it's a three-minute hair mask, you know, you sit in the shower and you wash it out. It's not leave-in. But I, what I like about three-minute hair masks is that it forces me to slow down and indulge in body care in the shower, not just clean and get out. So I like how hair masks that you leave in a washout may, forces you to do that. And I have seen, oh my, you, you've seen my last videos. It was like, this is all the hair mask. I mean, yeah, I'm going to screenshot a photo of me and my hair. <laughs> That that's this is that that's real. Like this that is a glowing oh my gosh, a glowing endorsement for Foxy Bay if there ever was. Me without this is me on not on hair masks. You know those old commercials like for maybe not, like where you cracked an egg. This is your brain on drugs. Like this is my hair on Foxy Bay. This is my hair off Foxy Bay. So I'm saying <laughs> what I'm saying is it's a good hair mask. And when I get hair masks in Ipsy I just use them right away so let's see another thing i want to go in so that's what i chose the item was chosen for me and that i just referenced to reference to on the card was context lippy i like i particularly enjoy context because all the shades are named after 1980s hair band songs and this one is a girl school i'm wearing it now Lighting is terrible. This is like the worst lighting. Uh, I'm in I'm in my bathroom with an O light, even though it's daytime. So I'm going to put a photo up here and of me in daylight, showing off my <laughs> loosely lined lips. 
and because this is like a pinky mauve shade i really enjoy it so this shade is uh it's called girl school and as i said all the song titles are named after these cheesy hair band songs and girl school was a song by a forgettable 80s band called britney fox and i had to britney fox i don't remember like i literally mean forgettable so i had to google the music video here on youtube and I do, in fact, remember the music video. I'm going to show a little bit of it. So this is the music video, Girl School. Look at this girl listening to, of all things, a tape deck. Oh, it's not an MP3 player. This no, wouldn't have happened now. Deck. No wires anymore. And here's the 80s stand, written song. That kick that, just that, did. that was a mandatory So this song is called Girl School. This is the context oh, lip color of the mandatory. Look at her. You know she got it. What I like about that music video is that it's, it's, they got the idea, you know, the girls, the girls are like pretending to see a concert. They got that idea from One Flew of a Cuckoo's Nest. You know, I'm watching it as an older adult because that music video came out on MTV when I was about 12 years old. And I'm watching it as an older adult, and that's like, oh, that's from One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. There's this scene where Jack Nicholson is in a mental asylum, and he's having a total control power trip with Nurse Ratched, this, e this evil psychiatric nurse. And to get, her, to, get her, to get to her, he pretends to enjoy a ball game because she wouldn't let him do it. And that, that is, it's like, it is a really good life lesson. Like, if someone, like, spits in your face and doesn't like your joy, you just be joyful anyway. It's, it's a really good life lesson. But I'm going to roll a little bit of that video. And look at the similarities between the music video and One Flew the Cuckoo's Nest, you know, with the headmistress. Yes, the headmistress. And then the girls' school video. And then the likeliness of Nurse Ratchet. Yeah, so I just went off on a tangent of favorite music videos and movies because I love to talk about that even more than Beauty Over 40 and YouTubery and all kinds of stuff. So let me move on. So it's two items. All right. Six, six minutes, two items. The, another item that Ipsy chose for me. P, niacinamide dew drops. I, I've had the full, the full version of this in, from one of my boxy charms. Yeah. So one from one of my boxy chums. So and I have a little trial size of this. Um, there was some glow recipe that Ipsy gave me. And when I wrote a review for it, it was the lip pop that I love so much. That, that matches this glow recipe. They gave me a lip pop. And I write in my reviews, I love glow recipe. I always want glow recipe. So they, they, they give me an available glow recipe. So that does work with Ipsy. When you write a review and you mention that you love a brand, they'll send you that brand. Or an item, such as eye cream. I like eye cream. Like, write, actually write it in your review, and Ipsy does make note of that. And you will get that. So, if, so keep that in mind if you have favorite brands. And it does work in the opposite. If you don't like Smith Cosmetics or whatever, just say, I don't want Smith Com Cosmetics in my bag anymore. You know, give it a one-star rating, and then actually physically write that. Okay, so that's my lecture that I give every day about, about Ipsy profile, or Ipsy, you know, choosing for you. So here's another item, the Aceology. Um, I used one last night, so there's two of them, two pair. Aceology uh, eye mask. It's aloe and watermelon, hyaluronic acid. Um, I liked it. It was good. Um, I did see a, and I, I wanted this too. I chose my, my Foxy Bay and then I saw this. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I wanted this. And I do love that with Glam Bag. I make a choice. And then one or, the, one or two more items that I'm interested in, I do get. So I saw someone do a, an unbagging for this. 
and uh, where, where he received this, and he, you know, he's mad at Ipsy, and he's uh, complaining, and he's saying, oh, it's dried out. It is not, a, it is not dried out. This isn't dried out at all. He was talking about the part that you don't put on your eye. The other part on, that you do put on your eye is a, like a gel that stays there. I walked around and did stuff, and it had a lot of stay put power. And, you know, set, it's like a soothing gel. It was, it was soothing and hydrating. Um, my bags, it, took, it also made it tender and smooth. But there, a bag, you know. Well, my, the baggage stuff is really going on in my eyes. But the one here that I'm having problems with, and I know why. This eye gets a lot of eye strain. The, the little bag came back in a few hours. But, to be fair, this doesn't claim to treat bags. It's about moisturizing and smoothing and soothing. And it absolutely did that. And the scent isn't overpowering. I mean, a scent is kind of weird for like an eye, um, an eye patch. So I, I really enjoyed this. Um... Baggage claim by Wander Beauty is the best eye patch. I'm definitely a spokes an advocate for eye patches. I mean, that's a product I use constantly. Uh, Generation Skin that I recently, the marine one that I recently scored in Boxy Charm. That one, um, Generation Skin Aloe. I love that too. And that stays on, and that has that's also very good. So I would say, and I love Aceology. Don't get me wrong. I would say this. This is third in line. With Wander Beauty Baggage Claim being the first, Generation Skin, and then this one being third. Let me know what you think. What is your favorite uh, eye mask? Let me know. What do you use the most often? What do you hope to get your hands on? Are there any, like, drugstore brand or supermarket brand or anything you randomly buy on the internet besides subscription boxes? Are there any eye patches that you prefer? What, are you, what is your favorite? What is your least favorite? I want to know. And I'm just interested in recommendations. So, okay, that was one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Ipsy chose for me. Uh, this is the Koki. I think my, my, my shade is chocolate. It was like a brown. I think the shade is called chocolate. I'll put it up. I'll verify what the actual shade was. Um, I liked it. Let me demonstrate it. Um, first of all, draw it on my hand. And this is Lippies I'm going to show you in a second. Now, that's, that's not what I'm wearing on me now. I went with, um, what did I go with? I, I went with, like, my pet, my thing. No, I did color this in. I did. I have big honking gaps in my brows, so like brow filler. Kosas is my favorite um, eye gel that I use all the time. That's my reach for, this Kosas brow gel. But transitioning into like pencils in the summer months, I did use this. This is definitely shade chocolate brown. I did use this. What I like about the design, this is from Koki Cosmetics, is that I like the square of it. I'm sorry to glint at you, so I'll stop like twirling it. And then I'll stop twirling it, and then I'm twirling it. But, and then this is, no, that's the, the comb part. The um, the spoolie is a decent spoolie. It's nice and durable. I have some cheap spoolies. And I realized that when I started combing my brows with them. My brows need a lot of work. I should trim them. Where I live, the local salons, they're not like, they do not know how to wax eyebrows to save their life. I'm in Jersey. I lived in Maryland, suburban Maryland, for 20 years. And I used to indulge in waxing in my eyebrows. It was my one, like, like beauty, you know, not always getting manicures, not always getting mani-pedis. Like, that was, a like, a blessing. You know, I did it so often that I enjoyed, like, very much appreciated every single time. But waxing my eyebrows when I lived in Maryland for 20 years, that was something I indulged in no matter what my budget was, no matter how much time I had. And in Maryland, they used to wax my brows, different different salons, and I'd, I'd have like the sexy little arch to it. And now I live in a rural section of Jersey. And when I first moved here, I indulged in that, you know. I was also down to be living in Jersey again. And so I go to a salon... And they, they don't they don't know how to wax brows up here in North Jersey. They don't know how to do it. So I've given up on it. 
the first time I went and waxed my brows in Jersey, it was like, I'm permanently surprised. There wasn't, that they didn't understand the whole sexy arch and doing, doing the thing with the pencil where you're like, you know, diagonally from your brows and that's like where the little sexy arch goes. It was like semicircles. Oh man, it was the worst. And then they were like, can we cut your hair? I said, you absolutely cannot. <laughs> you in New Jersey. Uh, no. So anyway, sometimes I complain about Jersey, but there's a lot of good to it too. There is. But I'm not going into the good right now because complaining is more fun <laughs> and hopefully more entertaining. So I, okay, so the lippy, speaking of complaining, although I love it, it's right here. So this one, I'm putting a stock photo of this, right? So this was an add-on on the day of BoxyCharm Drop Shop. I had my second chance at add-ons that same day, and I was so thrilled to buy the next two lippies, like way too thrilled to buy little lippies, and didn't care about Drop Shop at all, although I did do a screenshot video of it. But this shade here, this fair lippy, and fair, fair brushes are just the greatest ever. Fair Cosmetics is this company based in New York. Fair, fair brushes, so high quality, so terrific. And their lippies, I got a, a $15 one. No, 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 I'm sorry. Last Christmas, I bought myself an Ipsy $14 bag, and I scored this lippy in the $14 mystery bag. And I think it's called Coco. And it's, it's this wonderful brown that stays put, and every time, every time I wear this, I get these really positive reactions from people. And I've worn this on YouTube videos, and I'm just looking at myself and editing. I'm like, oh, that looks very nice. You know, it, it gives me the confidence. That's how good these lippies are, fair lippies. So when I complain about the shade, don't think I'm like, I don't appreciate fair lippies because they're awesome. And in this next coming glam bag, a full-size one was offered, but I didn't choose it. So I'm hoping it'll be one of the ones. And I, I have good reason to believe I will because I just purchased a lippy. I'm, I gave it a... I gave it a, I commented on the color. If you see in the stock photo, doesn't it look red? I thought it would be like a hot pink, but definitely like a reddish tone to it. But the shade is called Sienna, and that was to be taken literally. It's really Sienna. It's actually like an orange shade, right? I'm not going to put a photo of me wearing it, but I wrote a, a, a review on it, and I hope that doesn't cancel out any more fair recommendations or choosings in Ipsy. But it's orange. It's like burnt orange. I wore it yesterday for a video and enjoyed it. Um, inspired me to wear a little more orange. I, I probably will wear it and experiment with different colors, like orange and red, especially because summer is coming up. But I was hoping for like a hot pink. So anyway, there's this downtown shade in the next glam bag I might get. It's a gloss by Farah. But I don't know. Maybe I canceled out getting it because I... I wrote that review and then I looked at the reviews after I wrote mine and people people said the same thing on Ipsy reviews. Do you ever read Ipsy reviews? It's pretty fun. Some of people say like really crazy stuff, but Ipsy people, not like bots, but actual people on Ipsy do read your, your reviews. Some people are nasty. Some people are wonderful. It's, it's really nice. It's really nice. I wish like on Ipsy the reviews we could have like a community like, like Sephora does. If you have, if you're on the Sephora community, I'm kind of everywhere, but if you're on the Sephora community, let us know in the comments below and we could all, all, all of us, this is whole Phoenicians, go on to Sephora and socialize over there because that's, the Sephora app community is pretty boss too. That's, that's a, a list of things to do for me. So anyway, the second item, the last item that I'm showing besides the bag, what bag did I get? Is this, it was $3.50. And before you say, Michelle, that's a chapstick, should have paid a dollar. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not justifying paying more. I'm not justifying, like, overpaying. Not at all. But I didn't get the February glam bag. I was sick. And this was featured in Gla February glam bag. And also, it was under, um, like, Ipsy recommends for you as the first item. And that always gets me. Like, what I do, in fact, want what Ipsy recommends. I'm like, yeah. So this was, it's a cherry. It's a CBD um, chapstick, basically. Cherry. Um, the taste, people on reviews said they like, Ipsy reviews said they like the taste. But it's really the scent. The scent is, it's, it's, the scent is 
like flavored chapsticks, which is like I specialize in flavored chapsticks. Oh my gosh, my favorite is great. But this cherry one is from Eco Lips. I paid three fifty for it. But I did do a Glam Bag X spoilers. There's there's a CBD lip balm in a bullet style lip case that retailed for eighteen. So people are paying eighteen dollars for CBD balm that doesn't have the the cherry. This cherry smells very natural. Like not that that Kool-Aid artificial flavor packet stuff. This smells like actual cherries. You put it on, the, the scent is wonderful. And then being a hemp seed oil extract, it has that wonderful glide. I, I hate the feel of oil on me. And hemp seed oil is so such a subtle oil that I don't mind the feeling on. It's not heavy oil. Like with oils, I tend to think of heavy oil like baby oil. If you remember, if you ever used baby oil when you were younger. That was such a heavy oil. So I'm using these CBD lip uh, products on my lips and my body. And to me, it's like a rediscovering the nourishing properties of oil. So I'm, I'm pretty on board with like CBD body care. Also like um, in crocheting, the hemp rope is a wonderful thing to crochet and actually knit with. And what you do uh, create crafts from the, the hemp rope is really durable textiles too so I've, I've always been on board with the whole you know using that plant that specific cannabinoid plant to manufacture goods so okay here we go what bag did I get because Joanne Wong I am obsessed with her bag designs yeah I might go Joanne Wong here's a footage of me saying Oh, Joanne Wong, I love your zipper pulls. Mm. Oh, Joanne Wong, I'm an obsessed fan of your glam bags and zipper pulls. Okay, that may have come may have been more scary, but it was meant to be funny. But I love Joanne Wong and her the designs of her glam bag. And right up here, in my spoilers video for this very glam bag of April Ipsy 2022, there's my video, and here's the thumbnail of it. And here's also a card if you just want to randomly click on the card or watch my spoilers video before finding out what bag I received. But here it is, where the thumbnail photo, where I'm like a zipper pool of the ages. Because that, that daisy bag, we all know people didn't get it because of supply chain stuff. And I never got that email about supply chains. But Patricia, beauty and skincare enthusiast, one of my subscribers and friends, who I adore, is awesome. Uh, she she asked me in my comments section, "Did you?" Oh, I revealed my bag. But she asked me in my comment, "Did I get that supply chain email?" And I said no. And then people were unbagging their things, and some people were losing their. Some people were having nervous breakdowns about not getting the Daisy Ipsy bag. Bag. So the bag I got. Yeah. I got the daisy bag. And if you're watching, not to rub salt in the wound, but it is a cute effing bag. It is a cute bag, all right? It's right in this lighting, you can't tell, but man, it, it is so pink and dainty and spring-like. I don't see actual daisies, but oh my God. And the thing about this zipper pool, a zipper pool of the ages. Oh, Joanne Wong, you outdid yourself. You have did yourself. There's no Ipsy label in it. That always, I take that literally. I analyze these kinds of things. If there isn't an Ipsy tag, does it mean Joanne Wong did not design it? The thing about the zipper pull is that it's round. It's a circle. So when you pull on it, it's a perfect place for your thumb. You know what I mean? And then the, curve, the edges are curved. And when I see my shipment, my cosmetics were in it because I mostly got cosmetics and not like larger items that don't fit. So it was nice and full. I'm going to use this for little, literal, and there's the Ipsy on the back. You know, you know how it is. Um, I'm going to use, literally use this for cosmetics. I tend to use um, Ipsy bags for sewing notions, medical supplies, um, anything I want to sort. And sewing notions, medical supplies. Oh, and office supplies. I do that as well. So I have them all over the place, but they're put to use. This is going to be for actual cosmetics and travel. Look at it. Look at it. It is cute. It is, it is really cute. 
what happened was my billing process late, so I didn't get that email because that was the interim. It looked as though I wouldn't, I was, I wouldn't pay, so I didn't get that email. And then if, naturally, when when you pay late with Ipsy, you have they they put you at the end of the line, and you have to wait till everybody else who paid on time is processed. So during that interim, it was the short the short supply. And they must have got their time because I received this on the twenty sixth, and it it shipped like on the twenty second. So I'm not someone who's gleeful. I'm not like the shade and frayed person. But all of that aside, all ill will aside, I'm really happy, really happy with this bag. If it makes you feel any better, I don't, I don't usually luck out in life. I usually get oh, I have like a lot of, <laughs> you know, I don't always win. I'm not not win, but you know. I don't always luck out, and this this time I did, and I'm glad, and I hope everyone gets what they want next time. I did see some alternative bags that were actually pretty cool, collector's items. So, and I, I didn't know about the whole points redemption thing. So, I am going on to 24 minutes. I'm curious to see if you guys watch the entire 24 going on 25 minutes. So, he, I'll cue my weird end screen with some kind of weird joke at the end. And I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope to see you next time. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and commenting and hitting the like and subscribe. I appreciate that so much. I love building my family. I love you guys. You're so wonderful. And I'm so stoked about commuting, commuting, creating this community and everything. And I'm glad you like my videos. I make them stupid on purpose. Man, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> see you next time, friends. Take Can care. you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley.